Hi, ladies and girls, it's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming back. Today's video is a little bit different just because I usually don't sit and chit chat unless it's really like a review. Sometimes a get ready with me makes it a lot easier for me to relate and I don't know, it's something about multitasking for me that is very soothing, very like I get to connect with you guys. But I thought I would try this type of video just because I need to learn how to like just sit down in front of the camera. And yes, we still learn things here on YouTube. So today's video, I am talking about my favorite and my least favorite videos to watch here on YouTube. Let's get started. Okay, so you know what? This really hit a note. Hold up. So I had to give a shout out to Samantha March and Jessica Braun, two amazing women here on YouTube that did this video before me. I accidentally took out their names by accident because I had so much content, but I'm adding it back in. So comments of the video, okay? With me because I have been seeing some things that I've absolutely been loving here on YouTube, but then I have seen some things that I don't like. I think I'm going to alternate least favorite, favorite, least, favorite, least, because that way we can get some mix up in here. So the first video that I love watching are favorites videos. I love filming those, but I love watching favorites videos. Why? Because it's a whole bunch of like products all in one jumbled up. And I also love favorites and fails or favorites and regrets because you get the side of both coins and you see that there that people don't like everything and I said that a couple of times on my channel I feel like you're not gonna love everything so show me some things that you don't like you know I kind of like have a problem when someone constantly tells me that they absolutely love products and I know that it's a channel and everything but tell please tell me I mean you don't have to be you know you don't have to trash talk a brand but please tell me that it didn't work for you maybe that it worked for somebody else but please please do not tell me that you just love everything don't do it so favorites videos are one of my favorites. One of my least favorite to watch, <sighs> PR unboxings with the price tag in them. I've talked about this before and I actually have a bit video that I'm talking about like, you know, are viewers jealous, uh, you know, that type of thing. I feel like it's such a turn off just to talk about how much money in terms of that like if you're gonna tell me you're saving money i feel like if it's advantageous to the person but i feel like it makes a viewer feel some kind of way that they can't reach the goal of and i don't even want to say that it's them not reaching the goal i think money is a sensitive subject and i talked about this beauty is a sensitive subject so to kind of like it's almost like throwing dollars in people's faces like i have this you don't type of thing you know, if you're telling me you're going to save a thousand dollars, that's a different story. But to throw in, you know, thousands of make thousands of dollars of makeup that I got. That sounds kind of like high school to me. It does. It does. I mean, some people are going to feel any some kind of way when I say this, but I really do believe why does the name tag the person is still wanting to see what you have you know and if you are reviewing drugstore versus high-end versus luxury why does it have to have a price tag you know we already know that it's high-end put it down in the description box okay put it down in the description box of how much it costs i just feel like that is such a turn off and it's it, it's just it makes me feel some kind of way even me watching those and I click right out of those because I feel like you know what it's more about the price tag rather than did you like it or not or you hauled it and you're excited why did you well it's it, it's a PR unboxing but why do you have to we already know that you got it for free why do you have to put a price tag on it why because we gonna pay for it no like that's like telling somebody your salary. You know what I mean? Anyway, I don't like those type of videos. Another favorite of mine that I absolutely love. I love watching vlogs. I love watching vlogs because it gives you a story behind the person. And you know, I might talk about beauty. I might talk about some other things. I might talk about fashion, but you get to know my personality seeing me on a daily basis. I feel like you get to see what I like, what my friends are like, what I eat. Um, places to go. I feel like vlogs are the best type 
of video it to check out just to see especially if they're travel vlogs i love those i love those just because you get a different type of personality you see how silly people are in vlogs um sometimes we can be a little bit more professional in front of a camera but a vlog is going to tell you you see the personality shine through and um yeah and you see the people that they hang around so i really do like vlogs a whole lot okay so the next type of video that i don't like I don't like story times with clickbait okay um I like informative videos um I like even funny it could be a funny story time but let it be the truth because you know I don't like the clickbait you know I I like catchy titles but catchy titles are different than clickbait to me okay so I don't know I just I feel like you know say what it is and just say what it is why you gotta why you gotta play me like that you know what i'm saying don't play me you play me you try to play me but it didn't work the next type of video that i absolutely love is i love reviews like full-on reviews love full-on reviews need us do I, do, I, do I need to say that again I love full reviews I love tell me about the product tell me how many grams tell me you know what price how did it make you feel what did you like about it what did you did what did you not like about it you know show me the product I love full-on reviews and I feel like YouTube has gotten away with that which brings me to one of the ones that I don't like I don't like first impressions I've done impression first impression videos on my channel I have like two or three of them maybe um my, my, I, I, I know I got a handful okay it's not any more than that but I can tell you nine times out of ten I have come back and let you guys know if I love it if I hate it you got you've seen it in a regrets video if I love it you're gonna see it in the empties and I'm gonna tell you about it but first impressions and then moving on I'm just like it's like watching a movie and it just shuts off and you didn't really have an ending. You know what I mean? First impressions are so deceitful because I've seen people where they're like, I hate it. I love it. I hate it. I love it. And, you know, oh, I hate it. I feel like, you know what? It's not giving a service to the brand either. First impressions because first impressions that don't are not followed up you know that's where I came up with the haul report and I did that a couple of years ago and I am br definitely bringing that back I just did a Sephora VIB haul haul report and um, I just like to tell me about it tell me full-on review to give me give me the meat you know what I mean don't tease me okay don't 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 tease me don't say you gonna marry me and then uh, you you just give me a first impression what is that give me a full on it can be a first impression but come back with a full review i'm just saying i'm just like i feel like to really test something you really have to test it and first impressions to me can give a disservice so i said enough about that let's move on <coughs> excuse me Okay, so the next type of video that I absolutely love, I love watching like money saving tips. I think that's where I got the let's save 10K. And I grew up where my mom was like, buy what you want, but don't pay full price. I'm, one, I'm that girl. Okay, tell me about a sale and I'm there. I just I love when you're talking about saving money I love when you're talking about sales now I have to control that okay I can't meet every sale and that's something that I have learned that I have to control but I absolutely love money saving videos oh oh back to what we were talking about next unfavorite okay that I don't like to watch I don't like to watch videos that have, I know, I guess that was PR unboxings. Th these are haul videos that have the price tag in them and they use them and you know that they took product back. Like haul videos should be that you paid money. If it's a PR haul, it's a PR haul. Okay. If it's a mix, say what you pay for, say what was free. Okay, 
you don't have to have a price tag in it. And then what's even more tacky is that you take stuff back. You just did it for the video. It wasn't really stuff that you liked in the first place. You were just doing it to test it. And I feel like, you know what? Um, a lot of these brands are going to change their return policy because of this. And, you know, if I'm going to try a product and I return it, it's honestly because I pay my money and it did not work for me. Because y'all know most of the time, if you pay your money, you're going to try to make it work. Now, I, don't, don't get me wrong. I've returned product. Okay. I have videos talking about certain items that I returned. Okay. The one that I talked about, the Sephora, um, it was the deep conditioners and everything. I didn't even open that one at all. I was, I to even told them, you can resell this to somebody else because as you can tell, the seal has not been broken. Nothing is open. I just turned it over. I realized that, look, you know what? I ordered this online and I didn't read the instructions, but I have not touched it. And guess what? They they saw that the seal wasn't broken. The tag was still on it. The it, Everything was intact. They were able to resell that. Okay. Now, there are even things sometimes that we try on and it's just like, I want to avoid that. And maybe that's a video that I can do. Ways to avoid returning product. I think I'm going to do that one. That is a really good one because there are ways that you can keep yourself from returning things. Okay. And, um, I'll just show some, I'll just show you guys some ways that I have learned not to return back product. So, uh, you know, I feel like, especially if you are a beauty guru or if this is your full-time job, looking up the product, researching it, it, that like, that's what I'm watching you for, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, you can, it can be first impression. Now I'm not saying that, you know, of course that's kind of, you have to perfect your craft and everything, but all in all, I'm watching the channel because you're supposed to be the professional. You're getting paid to do this. And so, um, yeah, I just, I just don't, I don't like that. I don't like when, especially when I know that you return like over half of what you bought and it was just to do a video. Or just for you to be the first one. <sighs> Another video that I love, I love, I love to watch are instructional videos, how-to videos. And I'm going to tell you, the queen of how-to that I absolutely love is Alyssa Ashley. She will show you, I mean, she takes, if she is so meticulous and so detailed that she just, mm you like, yes. I mean, she took us on, even on Snapchat, she was swatching for us and everything. And I'm still waiting for Fenty to give her a check. I mean, somebody, some can, can Puma call her please? Uh, Fenty, Fenty Puma, uh, Fenty makeup. Somebody call Alyssa Ashley. I love how to videos. She's not the only one. Desi Perkins has great how to's, especially when it comes to like makeup. Um, uh, there's so many other ones, crispy, you know, transformations. I love how to videos and I just feel like, you know what? They're great to watch, especially you see when you see the little personality, you know, go in there I, and makeup Shayla. She's another one. I absolutely love how to videos. So yeah, um, not so favorite. <sighs> I don't like watching drama channel videos. I feel like, you know what, they're, those channels are so toxic. Like, I was watching some dude, uh, like, I, I was watching, and it just clicked. You know how things are suggested to you? So that one was suggested to me just because I think one of the people that I usually watch was in it. And I was like, so they make money off of trash talking other YouTubers, but want them to... Uh, I don't understand that. I mean, I understand, but I don't dis I totally disagree. So they're like, their integrity, they, to me, is just like, okay, so you like being toxic. It just, that's just weird to me. You are like breathing negativity all day. You have to do the research on these people. And like a lot of this stuff, I'm like, I can't believe you. You a third party. 
I think that when something is the truth, yeah, you have receipts and everything, but people are always, okay, you the Wendy Williams of drama, allegedly. Everything is allegedly, okay? Um, you know, I just feel like it's just one side to the story and you having your receipts and your own opinions does not let the, the truth shine through. And you, sometimes they make matters worse. I just don't like drama channels, you know. I, I don't know how they can live that toxic every day. I bet you they don't even do affirmations. How can you be a drama channel and do affirmations, a positive affirmation? Yeah. Mm -mm. No, no, thank you. Not on my coint. No, you won't be getting my view. Um, And I've actually, like, when I saw that, I kind of, like, told the drama channel, like... Is this what you do, do all day? Anyway, I didn't understand it. <sighs> Moving on. Let's end on a positive note. <laughs> Since I'm not a drama channel, let's end on a positive note. One of the things that I absolutely love watching, I love watching some of the most creative. YouTube has become kind of like a space where people just don't do like those redundant type of videos. I love watching the classics. Don't get me wrong. But I love how like so many YouTubers are coming up with creative ideas that they created themselves. And, you know, they give credit where credit is due, which is a whole nother video, y'all, because there's a lot of people that's not giving credit where credit is due. And they make it seem like it's their own idea. No, you got that from another channel. Shout out that channel. Okay, and to say, well, you know, a lot of people are doing this. No, you watch the video. Give a shout out to that person because guess what? Um, take their hand and give them some credit that they actually did the video. Yeah, I was inspired by. Okay, they maybe they didn't start it off, but please don't say that. You know, a lot of people. I don't remember or. Um, yeah, but you watched a video. You took enough time to watch the video. So like next time, maybe write down who did the video so you can give them some shine because it's a lot of like social media pleasurism going on. Okay. Um, yeah. Last time I checked, uh, when I was in school, I got in trouble for that. It's a lot of social media. A lot. A lot of people are still like a lot of ideas and making it seem like that they're their own. Okay. Give credit where credit is due. Um, I had to do that in books, and people should know that they should do that in social media. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm trying to leave this on a positive note. Okay, last video that I absolutely love, like I said, are creative videos. Like Samantha March, I love her. She's had Will I Buy It. Kimberly Clark started the anti hauls. That was her creativity. Now, people rolled on over, but that is something that was like against like the classics which I absolutely love I love um Liv loves her makeup I love her uh videos that are top 10 top least where she's doing the declutter of 20 palettes and she only has to take 10 I absolutely love that last videos that I absolutely love you guys you know I have been doing a whole bunch of decluttering I love declutter videos and y'all Jessica Braun is the guru of declutter, okay? So yeah, I've been loving those videos. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you beautifully in the next video. Bye, love you.